uh, Bill, I'm going to have to ask you to hang in there because we have another uh, hit coming in. Uh, we're just going to throw to Janela Massa, who is going to be having a conversation with Mr. Kareem and giving us an update on what is happening over there. Janela. Thanks, Niru. I'm here with the NDP candidate for Mississauga East Cooksville, Fayez Kareem. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, this was your first run at office, and I want to tell, I want to know a little bit about what this experience has been like for you. It has been a tremendous experience. It's actually exceeded my expectations. Um, people were great. People were really interested in hearing what the NDP has to offer. And when we speak one-on-one uh, -on -one with people, uh, they're very impressed with us, and we were fortunate and very lucky that we um, managed to convert a lot of people to the NDP because people saw reason and value in what we were saying. And uh, it's just been a phenomenal experience, and I'm very grateful for this opportunity to uh, be able to serve Mississauga. So when you're out canvassing and you're out talking to people in the riding, um, what are they saying to you? What are their concerns? What are they looking for this election? Some of the biggest concerns are jobs, okay? There are 555,000 people that's looking for employment and can't find work. People are, people are really concerned about that. The other concern we have is the cost of living, okay? Everything here is getting really very expensive. You, hydro bills, uh, auto insurance premiums, uh, food costs, all of these things, uh, housing costs. So people are really concerned about these things. They're concerned that uh, salaries are not keeping up with the cost of the, uh, with the inflation. So people are worried, people feel kind of despondent, and they are looking for hope, and they are hoping that uh, we will be able to do something about that. And, you know, this is a liberal-held riding. Uh, how hopeful, how optimistic are you about the success of the NDP, uh, you know, overall? I think, I'll, I think there's going to be some surprises tonight. Okay. What I have been hearing on the ground when I, at the beginning of the campaign, um, people have been very enthusiastic about the NDP. People welcome us into their homes. And people understand what we're saying. And they are very well aware of the level of corruption that has been going on under the current government. And they're not happy with that at all. So our reception has been really phenomenal. And I am expecting that uh, Mrs. Saga is going to be a strong NDP riding. Thank you so much for speaking with us today, Fayez. And good luck to you. And we'll watch those Thank results you. coming in this evening. We'll send it back to the studio. Nir? Thank you very much, Janela. Okay, we are going to hear another victory speech. We're going to Mississauga East Cooksville to Janela Massa, who is talking to the Liberal incumbent Deepika de Merla. Janela, what's... Hi, Janela. Thanks so much, Niru. I am with Deepika de Merla. She is the Liberal incumbent who has held on to her seat here in Mississauga East Cooksville. Deepika, congratulations, and tell us how you're feeling tonight. Tired? very excited and very grateful to the people of Mississauga East Cooksville. And you know, what were some of your big concerns, or sorry, what were some of the concerns you were hearing from residents uh, when you were out canvassing? What do you think kind of uh, put the Liberals over the top here in this riding? I think it was our message. Our message was that government has a role in leveling the playing field. That was the essential Liberal message that, you know, government is here to build Ontario, not take it apart. And that message resonated. And, you know, it was a good news story uh, for the Liberals overall. You, you know, they've won the leadership and, and with a majority. Uh, talk to us about that a little bit. Well, I think it's going to be good for everybody to have four years of stability provincially. You know, the, there does get, I, I don't know what the voter turnout is, so I have to look at it. But it gets a bit much, you know, when you have elections every two years. And minority governments, I know that people think about minority governments as, uh, the, you know, there's differing opinions. But the reality is, with minority government is that so much of your energy in government is spent just surviving that it's hard to do and make the changes that you need to to make sure Ontario is a strong province so I think this is good for everybody and what are you most looking forward to you know you've been working in this uh, riding for some time what are you most looking forward to I guess getting back to <laughs> well you know there were a few projects that were kind of left half done when the election was called it was called so suddenly I'm really really looking forward to going back and getting them back on the ground there's one where I'm working with women to help them become entrepreneurs I really want to get back to that one I also wanted to say that you know I think 
as a government, the one message that I take is humility. You know, majority government does not mean that, you know, we can do what we want. We have to do uh, what is right for Ontario. We have to do it with respect. I think that has come out very clear. And humility, that's important. Thanks so much, Deepika, and congratulations to you again this evening. So again, a Liberal win here in Mississauga, East Cooksville, and uh, in Ontario. So we're going to send it back to the studio with Miru. Thank you so much for that, Janela.